All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I was like, woo, page, assist, Improcreate is the best because it allows us to create a sketchbook. Now, like, I don't know, a month later after using the page assist, I was like, man, there's some things that I really, really wanna see. I want it to be like animation assist. <laughs> and then I was like, why don't I just use animation assist? So check this out. I mean, here I've got my sketchbook and what I've got here is I've got animation assist on. Now, if I turn page assist on, you'd be like, okay, cool. Let's just go from page to page to page, which is great. But now I want to put a bit of a texture on every single page, or perhaps you want to do a background on every single page. You cannot do this in page assist because then, well, you could but then you'd have to create a new background for every single page. So check this out. When you go to animation assist, you will need to change your onion skinning down to none if you don't want onion skins, or if you wanna trace a previous day or previous page, well, then you can put on onion skins. It is pretty powerful. So check this out. If you go all the way to the end of your animation or your sketchbook, you can tap on the last frame or the last page and say, yes, I want that to be a foreground. Now what this means is that it can be a group or just a layer that becomes the foreground. But check this out. This is where it becomes a powerful. So my frame 32 is 30% opacity. So I'm going to drag it up to 100% and I'm going to change it from a multiplier. Uh, let's just go for normal. So this is what would happen if I set this layer or this group to a foreground layer or as the foreground element. You know, it would just be on top of everything. Not so helpful. So if we go back to this layer or this group and we go to frame 32, I'm going to turn this to multiply. Now what this does is it creates this really nice texture. And I got this texture from Unsplash, but perhaps you can scan in a moleskin texture or some coffee stains or something like that. It just gives your daily doodles or sketches just, you know, some extra life. It's not just on white paper. So this is a little bit too rough for me. So what I've done is change that to about 30%. Now every single, wow, it's really close. Every single page, uh, that's quite a cool one. Every single page now has this slight background on top with a multiply blend mode. And this makes it feel just so much better textured. Feels like you're in a moleskin, but you know, you're in Procreate and you don't have to add that background texture every single layer or in every single page. It's super powerful. So that for me just makes page assist redundant. You don't need page assist in Procreate. All you need is animation assist. It is a souped up better version of page assist. Ta-da, Procreate. You can take out page assist. We've got animation assist. It rocks, it's better, it's got a few more features. Oh, and if you wanted to, you could even say frames per second, one frame per second or something like that. And let's just do a quick overview of my sketches. Yeah, some pretty cool sketches. I tried out a couple of different brushes. I had some ideas, got me thinking, got me playing. You know, I revisited a couple of styles. I found a really cool brush in Procreate. You can't do this in Page Assist. Well, maybe you could. You could then turn it to Animation Assist. So, start using Animation Assist instead. It's better. All right, my name is Rich Armstrong from TapTap. Tap. Kaboom! I'll see you soon.